our destination today. I don't have one. We're just going until we run out of daylight, most likely. Then we'll camp there and continue tomorrow. As per usual. Most days we don't actually have a destination. Have gone to that food. Uh, I think when I was hitchhiking, like the most I ever done is just like a day without eating. When I did the island survival stream thing. I was technically eating just barely anything for a week. Definitely lost weight there. Cycling, I'm always eating. bring trail food with you? What do you mean trail food? I bring snacks. You know, like trail mix. Like nuts and raisins and stuff. If so, yes, sometimes. Not right now though. Talking about the hitchhiking eventually. Yeah, hitchhiking will come back eventually. That's the plan. in full aero tuck. Also known as texting. As your ass handle this, you'd be surprised what your ass is capable of. Oh Sarah, you're back. How is Shrek? Was it Shrek? That's good timing, Sarah. <laughs> you have a question. Yeah, is it about butts though?
how does Korea sound bring me in? So, is Soph gonna ride a bike? What does Soph wanna do? Uh, if we're looking at January or February, it's probably cold. I know you don't like the cold. Now we bring the wagon. So who's in the wagon? Is it just me cycling and you and Soph are chilling in the wagon? Yes. Wow. That sounds very fair. Ooh, this is, okay. Might be able to get some snacks coming up here. Do you need an e-bike for that? Yeah, I have to tow two people. Me on my bike, towing a trailer with two people in it. Like a good idea <laughs> for you guys. I'm gonna be dying pedaling away. I'll have to get like a even like lower gears on my bike because I'm towing two people plus gear. Isn't it like 3 a.m. there, so? Is Chris still there too? You, but you didn't invite him? So it says they have a bike. Oh, okay. So, so she'll ride a bike. Are you guys just planning a trip to Korea and Chris is just like, not invited? Ugh. Crossman wanted me to go onto the shoulder, the soft shoulder. He was left out. Well, that's awfully rude. Oh, there's the crosswind. Yeah.
the wind is just this strange temperature combination of warm but cold. I need a better, like, really lightweight windbreaker layer. Where's beer and pizza time? Uh, where? There's no nice winds. Uh, t tonight, maybe. Wherever we get to. The sad thing is, the best possible outcome for me in the evening when I'm cycling in Spain here is to find a touristic location catered towards British tourists. So they actually will be serving food when the sun sets. So I don't have to wait two hours after sunset to eat. This whiskey, we did have Canadian whiskey for breakfast. comfortable saddles on a budget. I don't honestly know the different types of saddles that people tour on. This is what came with my bike. Um, and it's pretty highly regarded. It's windy. Um, but I just don't know what other saddles people use. Or more budget options. Because yeah, the Brooks saddles aren't cheap. follow the coast we start turning a bit more east and that'll be a bit of a better direction if this is the average wind direction but then later we loop north again which will be worse Jeff said they can ride, but we'll be dying the entire time. See, but you'll only be dying the entire time for the first like two weeks, and then you'll adapt. And we'll all be working on getting nice butts together. I'm currently working on my butt. Sarah's will be working our butt, so can work on our butt. Chris can work on his butt from home because he's not invited on the trip. You know, just be sad doing squats at home watching us ride through Korea. Sure about that? 
but don't push me off there. That's a good drop off. Can I train with you when you get back? What, Soph and Chris? We're all gonna work on our butts together. You go, next trip, it'll just be a group of us. We'll all have very nice round butts. Didn't you invite Soph to come work out with you and then she never came? Just calling her out right now. Oh, she was supposed to come work out with you. Give me a straight ass. That was what Soph said? Alright. Together we'll all have the juiciest of booties. The thickest of rumps. Sure that grocery store was. Just pull it up here for a second. Yeah, I know. No stopping except for a bus. I'm kind of like a bus. Hi, it's Soph. We were on different schedules. Okay, I was doing overnight shifts. Uh, I am wanting <laughs> booty. I swear I'm not flaky. Okay, this is good. There you go. When I go back home to Canada, it's just gonna be a Big group of us all working on our butts. I don't know. What's that building? Those stairs? What is this? What is going on here? Wow, okay. 
fancy. So much glass. Oh, there's an actual bike stand. Who can use that? Most masculine sound I've ever made. All right. Chocolate milk and pastries, and then we continue going. It's gonna be slow progress today. Just wind's kind of a pain in the, in the butt right now. Bear back.
get the contact with the same anymore. They're still swiping and chip and pinning. Let's stop. Size. Okay. Let's load up and get out of here. I used back the start block to totally really because my chill was like literally just right in front of it. I could see the bike. I use legging. It's wireless, and I guess they have some th extra thick windows. I was talking about stuff. Well, when I was. Not really when I was shopping, but when I was uh, waiting in the line. Just have some garbage to throw out. Oh, it's so fucking windy. Okay. Stop it, wind. Leave me alone. They're playing a driver's license in Little there, so just had to jam out a little bit. Ooh, that's steep. How fun is that? Good to see how good the brakes are feeling today. 
Not bad. I'm a big fan of Little. It's a good shop. It's cheap. And their cashiers sit down. Nice November beard, still deciding if I like it. <laughs> so, see, but Sarah's gonna make me shave it as soon as I get home. So, so far, I should be able to like fully appreciate my beard for what it is. The general consensus here on Twitch is people seem to like it. Sarah it has a minority position of being anti-beard. Keep it clean and well trimmed, and I think we're good. Uh, well, <laughs> I haven't really trimmed it at all since I've been on this trip. There hasn't been much grooming or trimming. Not really just being clean at all. I end up being pretty dirty on these trips. It's fine. <laughs> you gotta get soap to make an account. I can live with trimmed and clean, Sarah. Okay. 
Well, maybe I should get you to groom my beard for me when I get home. See if we can find a style of beard that you can live with. I'm really curious, like, how you do it up in a way that you'd appreciate. Food in the beard? Yeah. So, it's like, I'm like, like a, like a, like a parent bird feeding Sarah later with like the leftovers from my beard. Comes like pre-chewed and stuff like that, just little bits in the beard. And she can snack on it later. This roundabout's a little unnecessary. We got Chasen with the three months prime. Thank you for the three months. So was Twitch for it's a cringy username. Can you can you DM that to me, Sarah? I wanna know what her username is. If you do send it to me, let me know and I'll check it out and I'll just give it a cringe scale rating. I like how Chris hasn't said anything this entire time. Or did he leave early? Well, not that it's really early, it's like 3.30 in the morning, you crazy. Crazy kids over there. <laughs> Chris is asleep. <laughs> In our apartment? <laughs> nice. These don't know I have a I mean, sorry, I have a very small studio apartment. It's 315 square feet. It's very small, so. It means our friend is just like passed out right next to them while they're like, you know, bantering with us on Twitch chat. Ooh, a bike lane. What happened to the bike lane? Oh, does it do a loopy doopy? I think it just does a loopy doopy and reconnects. We'll find out. Ooh, it changes color and everything. How exciting is that? Wow. Uh, no, not the wind. Oh no. It's 
It's gonna be slow progress today. Unless we change directions drastically. I think we do turn more east at some point here, but... Good, we're turning right. That'll be better. Cool username suggestions for so. Hmm. Well, Sarah, you know, you came up with a really original name. You got any suggestions for her? <laughs> Not cringe so. That's a good one. Yeah, just tell her to make a not cringe name, which is literally just not cringe. So fucking cool. Ah, oh, that's a good name actually, yeah. It's going from Spain, uh, back home to Canada for Christmas. Trying to get to Barcelona in time for a flight. Ugh. Gears, let's cooperate. That's true, and any of these names that come out that we like, someone's gonna steal.
smack. So <laughs> there it is. Is that you, so? Are you an imposter? Oh my god, root damage. So fucking underscore cool it is. There we go. Yeah, we can get some cool cats for so fucking cool. <laughs> Very cool name. There's some cool cats. <laughs> wow, I need a cool name. All right, chat, what, what should Sarah call herself? She's not satisfied with her Sarah Bridgewater name. Raz of Light with the gifted sub is so fucking cool. So welcome to the Twitch bikers. <laughs> hey, Raz of Light, thank you very much. <laughs> Sarah Bongwater. Kara, is there a kid's water? <laughs> Sarah Sahara. No, that just sounds like a stripper name or a porn star name. Jalapeno bidnet? Jalapeno bidnet? Jalapeno bidnet? Thank you for subscribing to the Twitch Packers. I think I'm sp supposed to say that in a specific way that I'm not currently accomplishing. You need to teach me Twitch things? <laughs> so what, what kind of things do you want to know? I can try and help you, but we also got Twitch chat to guide you. Now take everything Twitch chat says with a grain of salt, because they will try to lead you into directions that... Well, they'll just troll you a little bit. They'll tell you you do things one way when you really don't do it that, that way, and you might end up doing some interesting things thinking it's normal. <laughs> if you're not addressing Twitch chat, it's dangerous. Sarah... Danalog spelt how you feel like Danalog should be spelt? 
Yeah, Sarah, just take my surname. We thought about this. You know, I'm the last male Dan Lock, and you know, it's like old school, but you know, if we were gonna take names, traditionally take the guy's name. And I'm like, you know, there's a little bit of personal pressure I put on myself to carry on my surname. But then Sarah's like, well, I'm the last Bridgewater. But we certainly can't hyphen our names because Bridgewater Danlock or Danlock Bridgewater is just not, it's just not a good name at all. Very not good. Looks like we're leaving town. Last night was way cooler. It's so wordy. So many syllables. What about six syllables? Crosswind right now. Don't push me in the ditch. Wind. Not today. Let's put that on the <laughs> Both take the last name of Hitch. Trevor Hitch. Sarah Hitch. Oh, that's a good crosswind. Off it went. Can get a motorcycle and still ride with you. Just get an e bike. Then you pedal like a little bit, but when the motor's doing most of the work, you'd get really bored on a motorcycle going bike pace. So. Nothing wrong with a little e-biking. Ew, why are you saying ew to e-bikes? You're the one that wanted a motorcycle. You want a motor. This road turning to the right was a good decision. Thank you, road. <laughs> 